isn't it, Mike? Mm, it is. Well, to people who, uh, who don't follow basketball, the name Michael Jordan still means a great deal. He has won just about every accolade there is, including national titles in the United States and Olympic gold medals, not to mention the multi-million dollar contracts with the Chicago Bulls team and numerous sponsors. Well, his mother, Dolores, raised five children and she remembers nurturing Michael's dreams as a child. And now she's put down her thoughts about parenting in a book. She joins us now from Chicago. Mrs. Jordan, thank you for joining us. Can, can I begin by asking you, how hard has it been being Michael Jordan's mum? You know, it, well, it hasn't been very hard. I think because I wear mom, I wear it very well. I am a mother and I enjoy being a mother. So for me, it's been a pleasure. And what about the, the other four children that make up the Jordan family? Have they had a tough time in a sense, living in Michael's shadow. And as a mother, have you had to try and compensate for that? Well, you asked me, have I had to balance somewhat with all four, the other four? Well, uh, I don't know whether or not you've had a chance to read my book called Family First. And I talk about Michael being a household name, but the other four I'm extremely proud of. But Mr. Jordan and I tried to balance from day one to really stress to each child, each one of you have a gift, and it's how well you excel and use that gift. I think they recognize Michael worked hard to be the great athletic person he is today. So, you know, they supported him. They've supported him from day one. But I think when you start early supporting and being there, you don't have a problem whenever one is successful. Now, you talk about Michael's gift. When did you and, and your late husband, and indeed the whole family, I mean, when did you all first realize that there was something special about Michael? Or did, did you, or did it just happen that way? Is there something special about Michael? <laughs> of, of course there is, no. you know that. <laughs> Let's go back maybe his junior year in high school. Um, he, you know, prior to then, he played uh, baseball, he played football, he played all sports. His junior year, we did uh, send him off to camp to participate in basketball camp, he and Larry both. And then, there the coaches realized uh, his skills in reference to basketball. They began to write letters and suggest that Michael come to their college whenever he completed high school. Mr. Jordan and I thought, you know, they were crazy. They were talking about giving a scholarship just to play basketball. But I think Michael recognized from uh, the attention he got at camp what his skills and how hard, you know, he had truly had worked. He still wasn't where he needed to be to be a great athlete. And I think his senior year, he worked hard. We realized the skills and the gift he had in reference to basketball. And I think that's when Dad and I began to focus and really support him. If this is what you enjoy doing, have a good time with it. And, th and that was, the, as parents, that was your philosophy. Let, let that him, was parents. Let him enjoy it, let him have a good time, not push him. Correct. Let him enjoy it. But never did Mr. Jordan and myself ever think Michael would excel to where he is today. I think as parents, we just want them to have a good time, but always remember that education is the top priority. All right, now look, this is Australian television. Michael will never know what you've said, so you can be really <laughs> honest about this. What was he really like as a kid growing up? Was he easy to raise or was he difficult? Did you have to give him a clip, a belt every now and then? Of course. He was uh, a boy, and most boys are active. They want to get into everything. They want to check, you know, make sure, you know, they find out what everything is made of. Michael was a normal boy, and I call that normal because, again, he was active. He had a lot of energy, and he really excelled that energy by doing things sometimes that Mr. Jordan and I didn't approve of. Mm. Was he disciplined? Yes. He got spankings, he was disciplined. All families have their high times, high points and their low points, and yours has been no exception. I mean, your husband, right. Michael's dad, was, was murdered. As a family, yeah. um, did you help each other th through that grieving process? Very much so. And you know, that's truly when you know you have a solid family. Um, it, it really has drawn us both, all of us, closer together, has built that bond tighter. Mm. that we've been there for one another. And when we've had our low moments, we've been able to pick up the phone and call and talk about it. Uh, in the presence of one another, we've been able to, to really hug and let the emotion show. That's what family is all about. And it really has just grown us closer together. You've called your book Family First. Does Michael always put family first ahead of everything else? Uh, Michael is learning. As you well know, he is a young parent. 
And uh, I think Dad and I both have always tried to teach him that no matter what you enjoy doing, whenever you bring a human being in the world, that should be your first priority. And he's learning, and he knows he, his family is first. But, you know, it has to continue to grow. He's still young. He's got a lot of living to do. And right now he's been trying to fulfill some dreams for Michael, but yet his, his family has been there for him. Is he still your little boy? Always will be. He always will be. All my sons will be. I have two others other than Michael, and they always will be my little boys. My girls will always be my little girls. Dolores Jordan, thanks for your time. Nice talking with you. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. It's impossible to think of Michael Jordan as a, a little, little boy. boy. When you're about seven foot, it's a bit hard. It is a bit hard. Coming up, a European garden finds a home in Australia.